incoming transmission. Greetings everybody, Irish Trekkie coming to you with a brand new Star Trek collection. We are kicking off issue one of the Star Trek Universe collection from our friends over at Eagle Moss Hero Collector. And that issue one, as you can see before you, is the La Serena from Star Trek Picard. The hot rod painted non-Starfleet ship that led the way for season one. And um, again, very really excited to kick off any new collection number one. But uh, I did have a sneak peek. I posted some pictures over on the social medias of uh, some of these ships. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing the whole unbox, checking out the magazine with you. And uh, celebrating this on First Contact Day as well. So this video, if I'm hard myself, should be up on um, Monday. So that's uh, April 5th. So uh, yeah, we're, what are we, 42 years from uh, the Vulcans coming. So plenty of time to continue collecting. Um, for full disclosure, this ship was sent to me by Hero Collector, but... My thoughts and opinions are my own. They have no copyright over this video or editing. Uh, so again, the thoughts and opinions are my own. So I'd love to hear what your thoughts and opinions are in the doobly-doo down below. And uh, do check out some of the posts over on social media as well. And uh, you can support the channel by just liking, sharing, subscribing, and uh, over on the merch store as well. So T Public. All the details are down in the doobly-doo. But let's just get straight into it. We have a decent box here, Star Trek Picard fine size and um, as I said I did have a peek I wanted to <laughs> I normally don't but uh, let's get straight let's just get straight into it do, 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 do. come on there we go so you know by now I'm a fan of the smaller form factor magazine so can't wait to check that out but more importantly, we're all here for the main, the main show, the La Serena. So let's take her, I actually haven't even opened up this one now, but 1195 A slash A, decent amount. Let's get that in there, do our prep work. So we'll see what that is like on the mount a little bit later on. And uh, yes, let's take her out of her packaging. It has arrived in one piece. Beautiful. Um, do you know what? The, I think the red is coming up a bit richer than it is in real life. But it's still a it's still a hot red for sure. With those white accents. But we'll have a look at the paint app and the sculpt a little bit later on. But she's quite sizable. This is the regular issue one. There is an XL version of the ship coming. But uh, this is quite a sizable ship. So let's tidy up the background here and we'll check out the ship in closer detail. We'll move over to the magazine and then we'll wrap up with some final thoughts. So here we have La Serena. So this is the primary hero ship in Star Trek Picard. This is the ship that we saw um, Admiral Picard's ragtag crew venture across many obstacles to solve the mystery of uh, Data's daughters and um, yeah very very interesting ship I must say it would be interesting to see what's inside the magazine um, I think it caught a lot of people by surprise including myself because uh, we've seen nothing really quite like this before so uh, first glance is pretty nice to be honest with you and again like with, with a lot of the kind of modern shows it's it's very hard to kind of see some of the detail <laughs> on it because it's so fast and the lighting and stuff like that as well but we finally have our own model to pour over so let's do a close-up swipe by on the sculpt and the paint applications and uh, check out what kind of catches our eye for sure so we do have our decal on the front there similar to like a lot of kind of like ace pilot fighters and bombers and stuff like that as well and that's the main cockpit area so if you remember in the in the episode like this is quite open for a lot of this if not the bulk of it and um very kind of cathedral-esque 
nice sculpt on it, a lot of panelling. A little bit of weathering on the paint, so we have those red base coat, red and black base coat, with the, those kind of white Eddie Van Halen um, aesthetics to it. We have our nacelles, is there anything there? So we have blue paint, no plastic inserts. Very interesting aft section here. A little bit of color and paneling on the inside as well. And these look like the landing legs, which is pretty cool actually. Can't say that I noticed them before on the TV show. A little bit of white accents. A lot of sculpt detail and the seams are nicely hidden along the sides here. And again, you can kind of see that weathering little bit of red detailing just bringing out some of the areas there as well support and starboard are fairly similar everything seems quite well aligned and again some kind of nice detail and you'd almost kind of think that these would maybe articulate in but I don't think they do at all but it's kind of like they're on a joint I can't I don't remember them articulating in the show profile wise you know as a cockpit it's fairly well protected laterally that's going to remove a lot of visibility but um yeah it's just very different very different and again I think the color combination as well is very interesting it's very bold But it's kind of cool. I always liked it. Um, you know me, spaceships. <laughs> Hard not to like a spaceship unless you're a male on captain. But uh, that's another story. But uh, I just, again, it's very different. Um, a lot of people were kind of saying it's, it looks like kind of something out of the Mass Effect universe, which I, I totally get. But um, yeah, listen, I don't think anyone saw this kind of coming from Star Trek Picard in the early days. And it was, you know, it was nice to see the ship kind of come into action a little bit. There was that ferocious kind of fight with the Romulan Warbird and then the Fenris Ranger 7 coming in. And then there was, again, with the, the Orchids and stuff like that as well and uh, Naris's shuttle. So I saw a little bit of action for sure. And uh, it did take a tumble, crash land. But it survived. So let's check her out on the stand and we see what that looks like. So folks, there's La Serena on her stand. So it goes over quite a good amount um, over the aft section there. So it's very, very stable. A lot of the weight is going right down into the back of the main base as well. But with that, you get a nice swooping nature to the mount as well. So it's a little bit raised, as you can see, and you get to see a lot of the detail from around the cockpit area as well so it doesn't hang over a huge amount but it's a pretty sizable model in itself so I think you'd be quite impressed with the kind of impact of it again I know this ship may not be for everybody but uh, listen Picard may have been the first Star Trek for a lot and kind of got them uh, in on the rest of them so this could be someone's favorite favorite ship out there um, I celebrate the uniqueness of it and uh, just some some of the aspects of it as well. But um, it looks pretty nice. I'll give it that, I, I'll say. I'm gonna very curious to know what you folks think at home. So let me know in the comments below. So here we have the magazine. Class Kaplan F17, I did not know that. Launched 23rd century, length 85.57 meters. Very exacting dimensions. So La Serena, designing the ship are our two main sections. We have our mountain sections and uh, Cristobal Rioche was our captain. How did he get that ship? Was that ever said in season one? I don't know. Anyway, La Serena. Rios's ship was small, fast, maneuverable and capable of undertaking a wide range of missions. Very, very, uh, you know, suitable for storytelling, for sure. <laughs> Um, La Serena was a privately operated freighter under the command of former Starfleet officer Cristobal Rioche. In 2399, it was hired by Jean-Luc Picard to help him find the android life form Soji Asha. 
So Rios' ship was a Kaplan F-17 speed or F-17 a speed freighter that had been upgraded over the years. Speed freighter, interesting. It was fitted with uh, warp and impulse engines and was extremely manoeuvrable. It carried weapons and was fitted with defensive shields. The interior of the ship was fitted with hollow emitters throughout and Rios had programmed a holographic crew to pilot the ship, which is pretty cool, actually. Even though the Irish accents, yeah, yeah, we leave that there. I always wish there was kind of like, I know you're kind of sometimes pointing at random stuff there, like, you know, but a, oh, emitter diffuser or, you know, vent shenanigan <laughs> or something like that. Um, we have some detail on the aft section, which is quite busy. A lot of illumination back there. And again, we have illumination on the front as well. So we didn't really get that d detail on the aft section if memory serves. I'm just going to grab the... Actually, we did get the detailing, but they weren't kind of uh, darkened out. They were actually in the sculpt. Uh, and the kind of scoops were... Yeah, they were there, actually. Yeah, credit where credit's due. And I'm just going to slide that back on uh, the stand here. Just double-checking. Just double-checking. Now, that's a pretty impressive ship. So, designing the... But it wouldn't, shouldn't it be designing La Serena? Because it's not the, the. Anyway, concept artist Mark Yang was handed the task of designing the ship that looked fast, tough, and practical. So Rios' ship was designed, again, by Mark Yang, a newcomer to Star Trek who was brought in by production designer Todd Chernovsky. As Yang remembers, the ship Chernovsky designed to him was called the Arana Cosmica, or Cosmic Spider. Interesting. Todd wanted it to be a lot smaller, he says. They wanted it to be kind of a Swiss Army knife. So, again, capable for multi-role, multi-purpose. The first sketch Yang produced looked like a traditional Starfleet vessel, but he only felt he had something... So, blah, but he only felt he had something when he hit the design that was more like an enhanced runabout. Yeah, I never got the enhanced runabout vibe. This is very, very... This looks much slender. That looks like a bigger ship as well when I'm looking at the kind of cockpit area. I really like this in here. It's a little bit more rounded on the nacelles, it's a bit thicker, a bit more substantial there as well, but I, I do like that one. So we're going to go into a little bit more detail about the conception of the ship. So here's the more traditional uh, Starfleet designs, which are actually pretty cool. I kind of, I like, I like that one. Um, Yang started uh, to think about runabouts and produced a sketch that was built around a similar shape but with massive engines um, yeah maybe more that kind of style but that's pretty cool Cosmic Spider some fabulous concept art actually over here isn't it huge skill at the same time Yang produced an artwork showing the ship from behind with the cargo doors open so you have your after ramp in there as well so a speedy freighter and I love how they get into the ship at the front like that as well that's awesome so Yang placed the ship's weapons in the front uh, of the impulse pods okay okay where uh, they were safely away from the habitable areas of the ship cool I get that nice lighting on these concept arts and then some some different paint as well I do like the more subdued paint job here if you were to go for a red i kind of like the the black bow going into the kind of some some kind of racing stripes kind of vibe there as well the kind of blue is catching my eye too a little bit i wonder what you folks would think here we have some of the interior internal layouts so we had that again grand kind of cathedral opening and um, we saw sick bay and we really saw a lot of like Picard's room and the odd quarter and stuff like that, but nothing too, too crazy. And uh, we hand over to the VFX team as well. So it's actually quite the bulk of it is around designing the ship. Obviously, this is one of the newer ships in Star Trek. So it hasn't kind of built up the lore around itself. So it's uh, a lot of it is on the kind of conceptual sides of things. But um, yeah, very interested to see what you folks think. So... Coming up in uh, the Star Trek Universe collection, we have the Zheng He. Zheng He, I think, 
that's how I pronounce it, Zheng He. Um, and we have the Roman Warbird, we have the Fenris Ranger, and these were one off, if memory serves, oh, I can't remember the name of it, but th these were the ships coming from the Utopia Polynesia for the 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 rush the, the I was going to say Russian Romulan um, rescue mission Romulan and rescue together. Anyway, let's close out on the back graphic, shall we? So, folks, that wraps it up for the very first of the Star Trek Universe collection. We have La Serena from Star Trek Picard. Let me know in the comments below what you thought was a win, what may not have been a win for this ship. And uh, yeah, love to hear your thoughts and opinions of it. Um, with that said, do uh, hit the subscribe button because there will be more ships coming from the Star Trek Universe collection as well as a lot of other different collections out there as well. So I really hope you enjoy the video. If you're new to the channel or if you liked today's video, um, you can show your support by just liking and sharing the video with someone uh, who you think may like the video in your life. And um, again, if you're new to the channel as well, you can hit that subscribe button. All the links are going to be in the doobly-doo down below for the previous videos and playlists that we've done on the channel. And uh, you can check out the social media links as well as some merch over on the T Public storefront as well. Again, all of that can uh, directly support the channel. Big shout out to the patrons uh, supporting uh, the channel as well on a monthly basis. You folks are amazing and uh, directly impact uh, what I can do in the channel as well. And a big shout out to Hero Collector for uh, giving me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks at home as well. So uh, with that said, I've been your local Irish Trekkie. Uh, thanks for stopping by and taking the time out of your day. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay sane. And uh, I will see you in the next video. So take it easy and goodbye.